In this video, I will explain the usage of OpenTelemetry with Zipkin to visualize our traces. So, actually, from official page, we can find OpenTelemetry can be used for metrics, logs, and traces. In our case, we will use traces to analyze distributed tracing and visualize it with a Zipkin. I will not go in deep. You can get tons of information. Tons of information from official page open telemetry at the same time in Zipkin 2. Myself read all the stuff from there actually. And I will close this part. And it is Zipkin UI. I'm switching right now to show you topology, how I achieved my goal and how it works right now inside of my Kubernetes cluster. Just imagine we have two namespaces. One of them is your system. I wrote the name here, another one is default namespace. Inside of Istio, I've deployed open telemetry collector, which in, in, works in this port and Zipkin in this port. I have three services, service A, B, C, which work inside of default namespace. And when someone will call slash endpoint inside of service A, it will call service B, service B will call to service C. And the, at this moment, on the fly, will be generated distributed traces by the same trace ID. Of course, I will visualize all this stuff. But first, I, want, I must go to show code side what, what I did there. But just imagine we have this flow, and each of these endpoints will send distributed traces to the collector, open telemetry collector. And inside of open telemetry collector, we send uh, to the backend Zipkin to visualize our traces, traces which will be mapped with the same trace ID between our services, I mean service A, B and C, of course. So our topology looks like this. I will switch to the VS Code part and one, one moment I want to say, inside of spend data, we can collect data such start time, end time, operation time, status. Of course, trace ID will be there too. Just visualize all this stuff between my services. I implemented logging to output show the same trace ID, how actual use of, by, by using this trace ID, Zipkin can show us full map and communication between services show, to show at the end in the response milliseconds, uh, response time of our microservices. Where is the delay actually to see? So our goal to achieve, to understand, to achieve the purpose to understand which microservices gives us more delays than others. So, actually, it is manifest file of the open telemetry collectors. Uh, as I said before, for the H20 point, this port number will be used. And like us to visualize uh, all stuff, I have used like us backend and point zipkin, as I said before, which works inside of this. URL which I wrote here. I've, I've disabled uh, Jiger because of, I'm not using Jiger right now. And it is service where I listen it and at the same time config map and deployment itself too, which inside of deployment I've defined for HTTP port too. I mean, to collect HTTP kind of traces. And it is virtual service of the Zipkin, which if you see to this domain name, the same domain name opened yeah, by virtual service, which maps to this service. Actually, it is domain name, which I opened inside of Firefox, and it maps to the Zipkin service, which works inside of Istio namespace. And in this configuration of Zipkin, all these manifest files I got from Istio official page, and you can modify and then change as you, as you wish, of course. I will close this part too, it's not important right now and switch to the services. As I said before, I have three services, A, B, and C. Inside of service A, important part, I will explain, actually it is a service name which will be showed inside of Zipkin UI. When I will visualize it, we will see, of course, this part. Important part here, as we see, the trace information will, 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 be, sent to, will be sent to this service which works like as collector inside of Istio namespace in Kubernetes. And to do, to visualize and understand where map trace ID for our microservices, I, I do logging to output and see 
the trace ID will be the same for each of three services. So actually it will be the same for service B, which so just imagine when I will call inside of some pod endpoint slash on the fly will be generated spawns. Actually, it is traces with the same trace ID because service A will call to service B, service B call service C. We can see it here. It is calling of the service. And for each of them, we will see the same trace ID where in Zipkin UI we will see the same trace ID too. So right now, I will not go in deep to the code side. It is actual Docker file for each of them at the same time deployment and service which I have deployed inside of Kubernetes cluster inside of default namespace. So I will close this part, open max session. So just imagine it is log outputs for each of the pods from the name we can understand. Service A, service B, and at the same time service C. It is debug port uh, which I just run uh, to send get request to the service A on the fly will be generated uh, distributed traces for each of the services. If I will go to the UI, try to execute run query to see last for the last one minute our traces, nothing there because it was long time ago. And, and if I will try to execute, just look at this part. This is the ID which finish with the DC82, even the same here, it is service A, it is B and C. We can see the same trace ID inside of service B at the same time, the same trace ID present here, which finish with the DC82. If I will go to Zipkin UI, we can see we have traces. Why we see for the service A3 span and at the same time three for service B, one service C, because on the fly, the SDK of the open telemetry will generate three for when traffic comes, when it will be generated, when, when it will send. And do that because traffic comes to service A generating and send to service B, third one. The same thing for the service B because it will do the same for the service C. But service C will only catch traffic to itself and do that we see only one as one. So it is important part, which I showed before, it is finish, finished with the A6D5, start with A6D5, finish with DC82. The same thing if we will come here to see, and at the same time DC82. For each of them it will be the same. So that's it actually. I hope it will be useful.